Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and um, just a little clear up here because there's a lot of people that are a little miss uh, kind of not understanding properly the megahertz and kilohertz thing in radios and uh, shortwave radios and um, I don't know how many times I've seen a comment to like uh, well that was on 7.2 megahertz I don't have that on my radio my radio doesn't go into megahertz yes it does it's just that it's understanding the way that radios work so when you have a frequency display depending on the radio you have like most portables for example will display the general frequency in kilohertz and some will tell you in megahertz and the only difference is that they added a dot in the display for example if your radio is tuned to 15 dot one three zero megahertz well that is simply equal to fifteen thousand one hundred and thirty kilohertz it's very important to understand that because there's a lot of people out there that uh, kind of that unfortunately that dot that adds the megahertz kind of m mixes um, or messes them up in their head there they can't they can't kind of grasp the, the the frequency correctly so what I do and and this is the way that my brain works personally is that f n I, n I never look at megahertz anymore because shortwave spectrum goes from 3000 to 30,000 kilohertz okay and that's what you need to look at forget any dots that you see on the display as it kind of messes you up the only place where a dot is important is on those radios that have a more precise frequency readout like for example the Texan PL 990X and the reason why is because you're actually tuning for example 15,130.5 kilohertz it has a unit of precision that is different but just kind of remove the dot don't don't look at megahertz don't look at the little dot that they put there if you see a radio that says I'm tuned to 7.235 megahertz just kind of wash that dot off of your brain and just look at the frequency as it is and you are tuned to 7235 kilohertz in reality same exact thing also somebody uh, in the comments and I think it's a few times that I've seen that people that are saying well if you tune single sideband you have to move to megahertz it doesn't no frequency is frequency it it's not it's not a megahertz versus kilohertz thing it's whatever frequency you're tuned to and radios a lot of them are just in kilohertz and that's fine it's just understanding the conversion, knowing how, what is what easily. And a very easy way of doing it is just ignore that dot. Just ignore that dot. So if you see 7.2, it's 7200 kilohertz. S simply that, you know, it's, it's just um, a dot that kind of makes it hard for some people to grasp the notion of kilohertz and megahertz. So, if you want to listen to VOA 15580 kilohertz, well, some radios will display 15.580 megahertz, but it's 15580 kilohertz. Same thing. Uh, same thing. It's very, uh, it's, it's, you know, it, it's some, our brains are wired to see things and make us understand in a way. And for some, it's easier than others to, grabs the notion I, I have no problem with that notion but um, I've seen so many times people confused about it that it is uh, something that I think was worth mentioning again even though I did talk about this in older videos so just ignore the dot um, it's you know 15.580 it's 15,580 kilohertz same thing and of course if you knew if you know how it works, it's even better because you can understand the, the notion better. But um, it's it's simply the way it is. So you know, kind of ignore the dots on the receiver displays and just look at the frequency as it is, as a kilohertz frequency, simply. 
If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.